what will happen. For I am Jose Delgado! I'd come up with the idea of Jeremy when I was on holiday with my family in the States. I just finished doing Of Mice and Men in the West End, opposite Benedict Cumberbatch, and I was hungry for a challenge. And then one day I saw this man about my build. Uh, disheveled hair, outdated clothing, thick glasses. I would say a face only a mother could love, though I doubt that she loved him. You know, entirely trying too hard. And I thought to myself, how brilliantly tacky is this man? He, he must be mad. And that's when the light bulb went off. And I knew that this would be my next project. I returned to London and started developing the character. Mannerisms posture, what small fraction of my face would be visible through my hair, etc. The smile gave me quite a bit of trouble until it dawned on me. No smile. Jeremy does not smile. The next step was to find the right response and delivery. Uh, for example, if you were to ask me, would you like something to drink? Uh, I would say, why yes, I, I would quite like that. Um, whereas Jeremy would be something more like, uh, yeah, I guess. And it's like that. Everybody move! Sit down! Why is everyone acting so weird? <laughs> Jeremy isn't real! That's half true. What? Ah, mm. oh, yes, the, the mustache. <laughs> You're not the first to pose that question, is it real? It's as real as Jeremy Warner. So no. So I say my line and then I step right there, yeah? yeah exactly. Brilliant. Okay, great, thanks. Let's get set. After the mustache, everything just sort of fell into place. Mark? Red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather. And action. We need to do something. Jeremy, do you have any ideas? Yes, I do. Cut. Great. Wow. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much. One take wonder. I think we can move on. It's brilliant. Yeah. Yes, uh, the rest of the cast of Studio C are absolutely brilliant. Um, and they've grown to become some of my best mates. I do remember one time, uh, Stephen had trouble focusing. And I took him aside and I said, Stephen, if I can pretend to be a different person, 24-7 for six years. Surely you can do this. And Stephen still messed up after that. And so we eventually gave the part to James, who did a much better job than him. When I found out that his name was Daniel and that he was British, pff, I mean, his family isn't even real. The actors playing Jeremy's family are some of the most talented performers I've ever been fortunate enough to work with. My wife is portrayed by the Swedish talk show host, Agnetha Frisk. Agnetha is the embodiment of charm. But? She doesn't actually speak English though, and I don't speak Swedish either. But we do spend quality time together. Do you have any nines? Do you have any nines? So, no? My son is portrayed by Kyle Hemingway and Kierning Hemingway. They turned down parts in Star Wars for this. The character tested so well that eventually we decided to add his second son, Linus, who of course is portrayed by veteran actor Warwick Davis and voiced by Icelandic singer Björk. The big question really is, what is it all for? There's an old saying, the greatest treasures are those invisible to the eye, but found by the heart. Heart. He and art. I am the he. This is the art.
This is a nine. Uh, hey everyone, thanks for watching that sketch. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment, and excuse me, can I not wear these anymore? They're giving me a headache. All right, I'll put them back on. Ooh, red leather, yellow leather. Thanks for watching.